What's up, everybody? It's your favorite scribe's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Transformers Black Convoy pen. And I gotta tell you, I love this guy. Uh, this was a, also a gift uh, I was given that I was I wouldn't have normally spoiled myself with, but uh, I'm certainly glad I received it because I have not been able to stop messing with these guys. He's super fun to mess with. He's he's like got a lot of action figure like elements to him that make you just want to, you know, pick them up and pose them and put them in different dynamic kind of poses. It's awesome. He's awesome. Uh, I can't say enough good things about him, how pleasantly surprised I was. So, we'll talk about him a bit. we got red paint, silver paint on the head. The head is on a ball joint that gets you tons of articulation, really well placed. The chest cavity and all this stuff. This, this moves in order for you to kind of get access to something later on, but as a result, it almost acts as a diaphragm joint a little bit, and then there's a ball joint at the hips, at the waist, so you, you get a lot of posability there. And then the hips are on double ball pegs, so you get the ball, ball joint at the shoulder, and then a ball joint at the shoulder in the body. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, ball jointed wrist, so you get the swivel, and then, you know, the back and forth kind of articulation there. Got the pen, which is the gun, and the cap comes off for the pen. And, you know, you got the little silver paint in there. Silver paint, Decepticon symbol, with the red, the silver, it all looks so good. And then you got the waist, which is where a little bit of trouble comes into paradise. Like, just the aesthetics of it aren't perfect, but they're far from bad. Hips are on ball joints, and you can kind of get some of that kibble out of the way, you know, and... Well, I guess it doesn't go that farther anyway, but you get a little bit more. And, you know, double jointed knees, so that's good. The ankles is kind of where I had the most fun. They're on ball joints, but you can pull them out a little bit due to transformation. And really, like, you know, put them in some extreme poses that if, if no one's really just looking at the foot, you can get so much out of it. You know, it's... I am really really appreciative of this one because this was a really this is a really cool kind of novelty thing so anyway i was just taking some photos of him and i gotta say just one more time like if you can't get a decent pose out of this guy like you suck it's on you it has nothing to do with the toy because it's like almost every pose you put him in it looks cool very fun very fun all right so let's transform him um it is pretty involved so you got to make sure that these are down all the way and then you open these up here and then these, all right, these are going to tab in back here. And then you take this bit out here, turn the feet, turn the feet around. And you're just trying to make this so that it, it holds, so that it holds the pen. Um, you can take the cap off. These bits in here is, is pretty intricate for what it is. They're on ball joints and they swivel up to allow the room. So it fills in the, the hollowness when you need it to and then it allows space for the gun when you don't. All right. So that's that, and then this stuff here, you got to push the head down and bring the, bring the arms up. And they will actually tap together. Leave anyway. And then it's just a matter of cleaning them up. There was like no instructions that I received with mine. I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be, but it's a pretty complicated transformation, so that's really disappointing because it took me a while to kind of figure out what was going on. Alright, these come up and then this bit 
comes out here. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but this piece here swivels out and then it comes up and it latches onto there, which is really smart. Like it, it just like as I was messing with it, I was like, man, like why is this such a pain? Like why would they engineer it this way? And then like I realized something else I could do to like solidify it a little more, and that's just nice. And this pegs in there. And then and it might is that it? And the answer is no, I'm an idiot. I just saw it. Okay, so while this piece is down, I forgot that you got to open these these up. And I hope you can kind of see what's going on here. And these tab into this, which kind of sucks. It's not that it's it's just challenging. There he is. And I, I don't know what to do with these pieces. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if they go up or go down. I guess whatever's comfortable. And there's your pen. You can put the cap on. Or you can take the cap off. You can put the cap up here. To hold it, my, my biggest complaint with this set is that there was no instructions. Otherwise, it's one of my favorite toys of the year, I think. And it works just fine. If you get that reference, then you have a special place in my heart. Yeah, it's awesome. What? Very cool. Very cool. And if you have a pen, you can pretend to be a pretentious nerd. I need you to sign this card for your dad. No problem. God, you're such a dork. It's not what you were saying last night. Oh, Scully, I love the way you just lay there. A dork and obnoxious. Whatever, dude. Like, it, this will be my official pen. Like, I'll keep it around everywhere, and it'll be, like, what I write with. I, I don't know if, if I can get more ink if I run out or whatever, but I don't even care. It's so awesome. So, yeah, it's smart, it's clever, it's a little expensive, but it's a lot of fun. It's very, very, very interactive as far as action figure-wise. And then the transformation is actually really cool, fairly complicated and fun, and a challenge and yet rewarding. It's, it's nice. I can't say enough good things about it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.